This video is about to be so crazy. So a couple of weeks ago, I made this video about this YouTube family and their name was the Trench family. In that video, I was going through all of their content and I was exposing them. I was talking about how they're lying to their fans, how they're clickbaiting, and how they're just making horrible videos. A lot of people ended up liking that video and they wanted me to look at some other YouTube families that are really, really bad. But there was a lot of hate comments on that video. Somebody said, you're the worst. At least they have 7 million subscribers. This little kid said, this is not the worst family on YouTube, you B word. Why do you keep on being mean to people, family? Like you just do really much. Excuse me? This little kid even said, you're the worst YouTube I ever seen. I'm the worst YouTube you've seen. I'm the worst YouTube? After I saw all those hate comments on that video, I didn't really know what to do. A lot of people really wanted me to keep exposing these bad YouTube families, but a lot of these little kids really hate me for it. Guess what, little Timmy? I don't care if you hate me. I'm exposing these families. So the other day, I was just scrolling around in my comment section, and for some reason, a lot of people have been telling me about this one family. Their name is The Rush Fan. They have 2.7 million subscribers. This is their profile picture. This is their banner. So this is their family. I think this is the dad. This is the mom. This is the son. This is the daughter. And this is the daughter. They look pretty cool. I mean, if you read their channel description, it says The Rush Fam is a positive vlog channel starring Trey and my beautiful wife, Keisha. So they said that they're a positive vlog channel, right? Their most recent video, though, says something bad happened to our dog. I thought you guys were a positive channel. This video says, I caught my daughter doing something really bad. Uh, I thought you were a positive channel. I'm not even gonna make this up. Please look at this. This video says, we almost burnt down the house on Kira's birthday. They're literally outside and their house is on fire. Their house literally exploded. That video has 400,000 views. You wanna know why? It's a bunch of little kids that they clickbaited because if you actually end up clicking on this video, you can see that their house never burned down. The only thing that happened in this video that's kinda close to that is their daughter spilled a little bit of water oh on the God. floor. Your daughter spilled water on your floor and then you said your house almost burned down and you made a thumbnail that looks like that. Everybody in the comment section is so brain dead though. None of them are mentioning the fact that they're clickbaiting. Everybody's saying happy birthday, Kira. Happy birthday, Kira. Nobody's talking about how they just got clickbaited. The people who watch this channel are like three-year-old kids. If you don't believe me, look at this comment I just found. Uh, they said, happy fifth birthday, Kira. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you now? Happy birthday, Kira. You asked her three times. Like, did you think she was gonna answer you if you asked her three times instead of one? Are you stupid? Somebody even said, uh, Kaya, happy birthday. Space, 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 heart, 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 space, 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 celebration. You called her Kaya? I don't even like this family. And I know her name is Kira. It's literally in the title. This video literally says our house is officially haunted. And look at this thumbnail. You have the dad and then the daughter, and then they have like an attic and there's, there's like a, a demon in the attic or whatever. The funny thing is, about this thumbnail this is so fake and you can tell because they're not even looking at the hole like this girl like the daughter she's looking somewhere else the hole is behind them in the thumbnail for some reason this family really likes making videos about bugs you're probably so confused but let me show you so five months ago they posted a video that says we found worms in Callie's room and then the thumbnail is literally a bunch of worms just crawling all over the house you want to know what's really stupid though I clicked on this video to see if there was actually like giant worms just crawling throughout their house like the freaking thumbnail shows. Look at this. There's literally like eight worms. Uh, you literally went to the store and you bought those. Those are the worms that you're supposed to buy if you have like a pet snake or something. You literally poured a little bit of them out and then you made a video about it. If you somehow didn't believe me earlier when I said all the people who watch this are like one-year-olds, look at this comment. The top comment on this video says, I don't do my homework. I only watch you guys. You don't do your homework. You choose to watch these guys. I'm surprised you even have homework. I bet your homework is a bunch of coloring sheets. That video about those worms ended up getting 1.1 million views somehow. I don't really know why, but they saw that it got a lot of views. So they decided to keep making videos about bugs, right? Look at this. This video says killer bees are taking over our house. The thumbnail is literally them just going like, ah, this is so fake. If you click on this video, you can see that there aren't any bees.
In the video, you can see that he's like spraying some wasp nests or whatever, but that's outside. Your thumbnail is showing bees inside your house, but in the video, it's just wasps outside your house. What's wrong with having wasps outside your house? That's where they're supposed to be. I feel like there's some people watching this video right now that are like in love with this family. You probably hate me so much, but let me show you something. Let me prove to you that you shouldn't be freaking supporting these people. So look, this video says, OMG, Kira has a bald spot. And if you look at the thumbnail, you can see their daughter and then they turn her around. There's a bald spot like this big, like- Damn, I messed up. We gotta go bald, man. Oh, if you click on this video though, you can see what the bald spot actually looks like. Guys, I was just doing cookies here for school this morning. You're calling that a bald spot? Why did you make it so big in the thumbnail? Why are you lying? Why are you making your daughter look stupid? I'm talking to the parents here right now. Your daughter is probably a little bit embarrassed. The fact that she has like a little bit less hair right there. I wouldn't even consider that a bald spot. She's still gonna look good. Nobody's gonna notice that. But she's probably embarrassed, right? But the fact that you put her on your front page thumbnail and you made it so it looked like she had a bald spot directly on the back of her head, isn't that kind of messed up? Like, why would you do that? People in the comments section are saying like, oh, stay strong, Kira. You have a strong family and you have strong fans. Like, stay strong. What are you talking about, stay strong? She has a little bit less hair right here. Oh, well. Other people in the comments are saying, oh, I feel bad for you, Kira. The reason I feel bad for her is because her family is putting her on the thumbnail, making her look balder than she is. You remember earlier when I was talking about how they love faking videos about bugs? Look at this, bro. This video says, we found bugs in Kira's room and the thumbnail is literally a bunch of bugs crawling off the floor. There's even bugs on the little girl's lap. Like, this is so weird. I guarantee you this is clickbait. Let me just explore. So I ended up watching this video. Turns out they have ants in their house. As you can see right here, there's like probably 20 different ants. I'm pretty sure like 90% of houses in the world sometimes get ants. Why are you making a full episode about this? And why are you lying in the thumbnail? Those bugs in the thumbnail do not look like this. This is the real reason why I don't really like this family at all. So you remember earlier when I showed you that video that was like, oh, our house almost burnt down on her birthday or it was something like that, right? And they were lying about their house burning down and the thumbnail was literally, their house just exploded. How that was so fake, you remember that? Well, look at this. This video says, our house almost burned down on July 4th, huh? Your house almost burned down on July 4th. So you're telling me your house almost burned down on July 4th. It almost burned down on uh, your daughter's birthday. What the hell are you guys doing? In this video, nothing even happens with their house. They're letting off fireworks and stuff. And they're like, oh, we almost hit the house with the fireworks. Like, bro, what? I'm not even gonna lie to you though. The more you scroll down this channel, the worse the videos get. Because look at this. This says something bad is living in our backyard. And you can see the dad and the daughter look really scared. And then behind them, there's a bear. You have a bear in your backyard. You really want me to believe that there's a grizzly bear in your backyard. Turns out that's fake. They don't have a bear in their backyard. Duh, 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 duh. Anyone could have known that. But their channel is about to get a lot worse. We're not even close to being done because this video has 4.5 million views and it says surviving the tornado in Florida. You can see the mom and the daughter scared and outside the window, there's just a huge category 100 tornado just about to demolish their house. Turns out there's literally no tornado. They're literally outside. Look, look at this. So they have like a nice house. I, I bet they're rich and stuff. I bet they have a lot of money. They got a nice basketball court. They're in Florida. Does this look like tornado? Like where's the tornado? Where's the tornado at? They do end up showing their phone and it says like, oh, tornado warning. But they didn't show a tornado. Why does the thumbnail make it look like your whole house is just about to get thrown out of freaking state? But then in the video, there's nothing. That's kind of blasphemous. Guess what else is blasphemous though? This video says our daughter got into an accident on her bike. The thumbnail is literally the daughter on the ground, the bike on the ground, and then the daughter's holding her ankle and it literally curves. Her ankle curves like the letter L. She's making a sentence out of her leg. When I first saw this, I wanted to click on the video to see if this was actually real, see if she actually like demolished her leg. <laughs> So what actually happened in this video was that his daughter was riding her bike and she just kind of fell off like everybody does when they first, you know, learn how to ride a bike, they fall over and she was like, ow, my knee hurts. And then a minute later, she wasn't complaining. So she just got like maybe a little bruise. Why the hell is her leg backwards in the thumbnail? So now you're using your kids and making them look injured for views. That is just amazing parenting. I'm not gonna sit here and act like every single one of their videos are bad because this video right here is pretty cool. It says opening presents on Christmas morning with the Rush fam and this is a, 
pretty cool video. You know, they're an awesome family just opening presents together. That's a cool video. But then they follow it up by posting this video. Our daughter's fever won't go away. The thumbnail shows her with red eyes and she's crying and she's in a hospital and she has an IV strapped to her. So if you actually watch this video though, you can see that they don't show anything about a hospital at all within this whole video. They don't show anything about their daughter being super sick. They don't show their daughter having an IV. They don't show their daughter crying like the thumbnail shows. They don't show their daughter having red eyes like the thumbnail shows. What is wrong with parents nowadays? It's even funnier because half of this video is them making sandwiches. Look at this, bruh. You can't make this up. I clicked on the video to see if your daughter was actually in the hospital and you're making a bacon, tomato, whatever the hell this is sandwich, bro. I just saw this video, bro. This says our son broke his braces again by eating a rock. Your son ate a rock? All right, I'm done with this family.